I'll teach you how to see internal search terms in Google Analytics 4 so you can see what keywords people search on your website. You can then use this data to show better search results, generate new product ideas, and improve your website in general. If you have the basic e-commerce tracking installed, GA4 will in most cases automatically track this data. Hello data people, I'm Robert from Clicks Don't Lie and I'm here to help you to understand and analyze data to make better decisions in e-commerce. So let's just jump in into GA4 dashboard. Okay, let's add search terms to your GA4 and I'm going to show you two ways to do it. But first, let's check that you're actually tracking this data, that GA4 is receiving this data from your website. That's quite easy to check. Um, for example, go to your website and then search for something. So here I'm going to just search for a website like this. You can see that we have here the search term. And now if I go to GA4 and we go to engagement and then events, here we should see if we scroll down let's uh, just filter by search and hit enter so search and enter and then we should see this view search results let's click on it and now if you come here events in the last 30 minutes and you just scroll down and look for search term and you see any variables here if you see any parameter values here then you are tracking it correctly. Now, in case you don't have that, you need to set it up. And in most cases, you can do it in GA4. So I'm just going to link a video here at the top right corner. You can click on it and you can go and see how to do it. It probably takes you five to 10 minutes to set it up, but then you need to actually wait for it to gather the data because it's not going to uh, collect. It needs to collect the data. So you're not going to be see seeing the history of uh, your search terms. Now that we know that it's actually tracking it, we can go from here to the library. And in library, we scroll down and we're going to create new report. It's going to be a detailed report. Let's click on blank. And let's add a dimension. Let's search from here. Search. Oops, search term. There you go. It's a standard metric and then apply. And we can also add a metric from here. So, for example, it could be sessions and it could be um, event count. So from here, event count and apply. Let's just disable this one. Makes no sense to see it. Uh, and this is from my website and it's my personal website. So there's not much search going on, but these are the search terms coming now. Now, empty, that will be normal. It's just the way it is. And we unfortunately cannot filter them out right now. You can do a better report in the exploration report, but right now you cannot uh, filter this out, unfortunately. So I cannot just come here and look for search term. And, you know, maybe one day they'll add it. So you can check it from here. If you see it here, then you can also exclude uh, empty ones. But for now, this is what we have to work with. So you see that you have this report. If you scroll up, you can save this report now. Let's give it a name, search terms, and then save. And now we can go back. And we have here, you see, search terms. This is the report. And we need to add it to one of these, uh, basically these libraries. So, or collections they're called. So I'm going to add it to the one that is published. You can see here, lifecycle, lifecycle, and it's published. So that's what we need. Let's click on edit collection. And now you can search here, search term. There you go, search terms, they're appearing here. And now you can choose where to place it. Now, usually I would just put it in the uh, engagement. So from here, I would just drag it in here. Let's say it's the last report there. And then just save it and save changes. Okay, now we go back. And then we just go and see here on the left, engagement. You can see you have search terms. By the way, data is not created equal and you should be only looking at data that is relevant to your role. That's why I've created a cheat sheet which shows you the most important metrics and KPIs specific to different e-commerce roles. You can download it by clicking on the first link in the video description. Now you can do the same thing but in explorations. So here if you come to explorations, so it's this one, and freeform. If you scroll down and click on this little plus icon next to dimensions, you again can search for search term. There you go, it appears, import it. And then next to metrics, let's click on this plus and add sessions. So let's remove the city. And now we need to uh, remove device category. And let's just double click on the search term from here. So 
that we added here active users and for example sessions and event count i'm just double clicking on them it adds them automatically in the correct place and there you go now we see the same report here and we could now just uh, uh, filter this out so here at the bottom you have filters let's click on it and then we need event name you just need to add it to the dimensions here also you see here event name then you can see it here so event name let's scroll down and you can see here exactly matches and we're gonna look for search and this is the one we need view search results let's click on it and apply and there you go now you have the information here now you see your search terms and different metrics uh, according to the search term okay great now you know where to find search terms but j4 is full of metrics and reports that you don't really need and using them will just waste your time that's why you should watch this video next to learn the most useful reports in ga4